His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Al Sahir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Pakistan, Ireland, Albania, Canada and Belgium. The ambassador of Pakistan, Javed Malik, arrived at Al Sahir Palace where he was met by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The Ambassador of Ireland, Joseph Anthony Cotter, arrived at Al Sahir Palace where he was met by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the Ambassador. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Ireland to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Albania, Sami Sheba, arrived at Zahir Palace where he was met by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Albania to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Canada, Dennis Horak, arrived at Sahir Palace where he was met by the head of Royal Protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador.
The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Canada to Bahrain, and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Belgium, Andy de Tile, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was met by head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the new ambassador of Belgium to Bahrain and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. During the audiences, His Majesty the King praised the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and the progress of these relations in many areas. For their part, the ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings of their leaders and their wishes to His Majesty the King for good health and happiness and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Present were the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Head of Royal Protocol. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabia Palace today Deputy Premier and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the ESA Award for Service to Humanity. Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, who presented to His Royal Highness the jury of the third session of the award, chaired by Professor Jan Paulson. The Prime Minister commended the role of the award in serving humanity and humanitarian work and encouraging initiatives in this field by honouring its workers. He also praised the role of the Board of Trustees of the award and affirmed that it has become an Arab and international event that went beyond being local and regional as it targets humanitarian work regardless of different beliefs and political views. He added that amid the ongoing conflicts in the world, there must be united efforts to encourage humanitarian services and ease the suffering of the people, stressing that these were goals that the late Sheikh Issa bin Salman Al Khalifa stood for. His Royal Highness confirmed the government's keenness to support all efforts that aim to reinforce Bahrain's position in the humanitarian and volunteering fields, which falls in line with the principles of the people of Bahrain who are committed to such actions. He said the government is developing humanitarian work so as to meet the requirements of people in need through expanding constructive cooperation with the international community and relevant organisations. For his part, the Deputy Premier Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak expressed thanks and appreciation for the support of the Prime Minister, commending his directives to make Bahrain a leader in both regional and international humanitarian action. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund, Tam Keen, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and the newly appointed Chief Executive, Dr Ibrahim Janahi. The Prime Minister directed that effective training plans will be set that improve the abilities of Bahraini employees so as to achieve the government's goals in supporting the private sector and make it a vital partner in economic development. He stressed that the government continues to adopt initiatives that support the business sector and encourage more commercial and investment projects that strengthen the national economy. He noted that the government is working on establishing multiple strategies to deal with the challenges facing the labour market and the private sector so as to protect them from international economic developments. The Prime Minister urged Tam Keen officials and affiliates to exert more effective and efficient efforts in the economic development scene. 
His Royal Highness also commended the role of Tam Keen in reinforcing productivity and sustainable development of individuals and institutions, as well as its quick and efficient response to labour market requirements and changes. He went on to wish Dr Janahi continued success in performing the duties of his new post. For his part, Chairman of Tam Keen, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his directives that support the Labour Fund and its training programmes. He affirmed that the Prime Minister's directives will be put into effect, especially regarding the training of national staff and supporting both individuals and institutions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabia Palace the Governor of the Central Bank of Bahrain, Rashid Mohammed Al Maraj, who introduced to His Royal Highness members of the Board of Directors of Easy B Company, led by the company's chairman, Jamal Ali Al Hazim. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of improving the technology sector, especially in the banking sector, lauding the role of Bahraini companies in supporting the financial and banking fields and facilitating their activities. He also lauded the efforts and innovation of Bahraini youth in various fields and congratulated the board of directors of Easy B Company on launching this innovative project and wished them further success. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain claimed an advanced banking and financial position at both international and regional levels. He said that this is due to Bahrain's flexible economy and the availability of human capital. He also lauded the role of the private sector in this field. Al Hazim expressed appreciation for His Royal Highness's support for national companies and investors in various sectors and for his continuous support in the banking and financial sectors, saying that the progress witnessed in these sectors is thanks to His Royal Highness's aspirations and wise directives. The innovator of the project, Nayef Al Alawi, also praised His Royal Highness's support, pointing out that EZB created a financial payment network using finger and eye prints, which is considered one of the first companies of the world to use this technology. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular meeting today under the leadership of the Chairman of the Council, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, and in the presence of the Deputy Chairman, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Council also expressed its congratulations to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the occasion of being awarded with the Flame of Peace Award in recognition for his remarkable efforts in the humanitarian field and supporting regional and global security. The Council the importance fighting extremism and political incitement and enhance the values of coexistence within Bahraini society. Bahrain Defence Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received today at his office at the General Command a delegation from the Pakistan Army Command and Staff College led by Major General Mohammed Khazi in presence of BDF Chief of Staff Major General Tayyab Al Noemi. The BDF Commander-in-Chief commended the excellent relations between the two countries and discussed with the delegation several issues of mutual concern and ways of further expanding fields of cooperation. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid introduced to His Highness Sheikh Nasser members of the Bahraini national team who participated in the 13th Asian Cross Country Championship, which was held in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his appreciation for the outstanding results achieved by the Kingdom in the Championship and hailed the remarkable support of His Majesty the King and the Kingdom's Government to the youth and sports fields. His Highness also hailed the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid through implementing strategies that aim to boost the Kingdom's status in Arab, regional and international championships. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his constant support and care to the youth and sports fields in the Kingdom.
Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Muller, chaired today the weekly meeting and the council approved a suggestion on hiring Bahraini teachers for Akaya Primary School for Girls and Galali and another suggestion for providing the necessary medicine for Samania Hospital. The council discussed the topic regarding the support and development of handicraft products as an authentic part of Bahrain's history. The council then discussed a report by the Foreign Affairs, Defence and National Security Committee on protecting the society from terrorist acts. The Kingdom of Bahrain is mourning one of Bahrain's pioneers in the field of volunteer work in women's development. Sheikh Alua bin Mohammed Al Khalifa passed away yesterday, leaving a series of accomplishments for the people of Bahrain, and especially women, to build on. More now in this report. Bahrain's most prominent philanthropist, Sheikh Alulua bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, has died after being at the forefront of voluntary work for more than six decades. She was honored as Bahrain's top social voluntary pioneer in 2010 by Her Royal Highness Wife of His Majesty the King and Supreme Council for Women President, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Sheikh Alulua was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in 2007 by the General Secretary of the Supreme Council for Women for her outstanding efforts in supporting Bahraini women causes and rights as a pioneer in this domain. In recognition of the important role women and children play in the development of a community, Sheikh Alulua devoted herself to advancing their rights and increasing their level of engagement in society. She invested a great deal of energy in the establishment of Bahrain's first NGO, the Bahrain Children and Mothers Welfare Society, in 1953. Sheikh Alulwa ensured that women, children and men who helped promote and enhance her humanitarian initiatives were honoured. She promoted voluntary work and solidarity in the community through such recognition as well as governmental support by expressing her constant gratitude. She hosted a number of events to raise awareness about women's and children's rights in Bahrain and has greatly advanced the movement by placing it at the forefront of national issues. Sheikh Alula passed on her passion for civic engagement to her daughter, Sheikha Hind bin Salman Al Khalifa, who is also a Rashid Group chairwoman. She has set an example for us all and was rightly praised for her work. May her soul rest in peace. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. The Bahrain Oil Shares Index closed today at 1,170.69 points, a decrease of 7.54 points below yesterday's closing. The fall was in the commercial banking, investment and insurance sector, and investors traded mainly in the commercial bank sector, representing 65% of the total value of shares traded. Results indicated that 53 equity transactions that took place with a volume of 1,184,221 shares worth the value of 261,800 Bahraini dinars.